Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Electrum Bitcoin wallet in Linux Debian. So let's dive in. So I know I've been doing a lot of videos for Windows 10 users and uh, there are a lot of people out there that are interested in cryptocurrency and cryptography that are using Windows 10. Uh, but really, I'm all about privacy, anonymity, and security. Uh, if you'll see a lot of my other videos, you'll see that uh, we're setting that sort of stuff up. And the best way to do that is in uh, a Linux distribution, an open source software distribution. Gives you the most privacy, anonymity, and security that's around. Of course, it takes a little extra work. You have to do it properly. But if that's important to you, then Debian uh, and Linux, whatever your flavor of Linux is, are, is the way to go. So I'm going to show you how to download and install the Electrum Bitcoin wallet in uh, Debian. And it's pretty interesting uh, because it's uh, so simple. I wasn't even sure if I should do this video. But I would like to point it out to any of you out there that may be new to Debian and uh, the way it works. So we're going to do it the Debian way. All right, so let's go over here to our screen. So if you, uh, we launch our browser here, I'm going to launch Chromium. And I'm going to go over here to the uh, Electrum Bitcoin Wallet homepage. Um, we've done this before in Windows. Uh, so if you go over here to download, and you'll see over here in the Linux that they have uh, a few steps here. And uh, these, of course, are command lines, uh, which anyone that uses uh, Debian or Linux is familiar with. Can be scary to some of you new users. Uh, but basically what they're asking you to do is install uh, some tools, these Python tools over here, and then they want you to uh, download the uh, Electrum tar file and uh, they don't give you a whole lot after that okay so you're kind of on your own as far as uh, downloading uh, the tar um, and then of course uh, I've showed everyone before uh, that I don't even see the signature here hmm. or I guess this is it down here yeah so there is a signature all right, we've talked about that. That's some cipher text. So, uh, you know, you would download this tar, you would download the signature, you would go over here and you would get Thomas's key ID. Uh, we've been through all this on Windows. But hey, uh, let's do it the Debian way, okay? Let's see how much easier it is the Debian way, okay? So, uh, the Debian way means to download uh, Debian packages from your sources. Okay, so I'll show you right here. Uh, if we go over here to, uh, I'm going to become the super user here for a minute. Okay, if we go over here and we uh, sign in as root, we can do this. Uh, we're going to do uh, nano. Oops. Apt sources. And now uh, this is the source uh, files in our Debian installation. And these are the places where you can download uh, secure software. Now I have uh, a non-free and contrib on here because uh, you know there's a few extra little things. But if you're really, really security conscious, you might want to uh, just uh, do the mains. Uh, but I'm not sure about Debian, uh, whether it's included in main or if it's a free or contrib. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and say uh, we want to do contrib. But even though they're not quite as secure as the, uh, the distribution uh, files themselves, you're uh, much more easier and secure when you download uh, the Debian way. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to just hit uh, Control X and get out of this. We're going to go back. Uh, I'm going to exit this. OK. Now. Uh, so we're going to do a sudo uh, so that uh, we have privileges. We're going to do an apt and we're going to do install. Nothing could be easier than that. And what are we going to install? Electrum. 
Isn't that interesting? See, the Electrum Bitcoin wallet is included in the Debian sources. And we just hit enter. And we enter our uh, password. And hey, lo and behold, look, it's going to download all the stuff we need. And included in that is the uh, Electrum wallet itself. I don't even see it in here, but I'm sure it's in there. Ah, yes, here we go. Electrum. And it's all of these dependencies that it needs to run and install the wallet are included. And uh, when you download from Debian repositories, that whole uh, cryptographic uh, verification step is handled under the hood by Debian. So uh, there are signing keys uh, already built in uh, for all of these repositories, and we don't have to go through any of that uh, verification. Uh, cryptographic verification. I guess I'm a little bit disappointed, but uh, nothing could be easier. So we're just going to hit yes, hit enter, and lo and behold, it downloads all of the packages that we need and installs them nicely on our machine. And then we can go over here, uh, look here, and we should see it. Oh my goodness, there it is Electrum Bitcoin Wallet. Isn't that cool? We're just going to hit add to favorites. And I'm just going to move it up over here under Ethereum. And look at that. All right, so we can just launch it. Uh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Here, I'm just going to exit my uh, terminal window. I usually choose Auto Connect. Uh, I have had some users that have said uh, there was problems uh, with Auto Connect and they choose the server manually, but uh, my experience has been the Auto Connect works just fine. Today we're going to just do a standard wallet, uh, create a new seed, and there's the seed right there. Uh, you know, you're going to want to write that guy down, and I am going to try, yeah, no, I think what I want to do is uh, go over here to files, into documents, just for the heck of it. Actually, why don't we do software? And I'll just, uh, so we'll keep things organized. I'll call this Electrum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness, me oh my. I did sort of something crazy on one of my previous videos. I downloaded the Ethereum wallet into a folder called Electrum. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to right click here. Um, all right, so I guess that didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to. But all I want is a text document text edit. Uh, let's go down here. One. Here we go. I just want a simple text editor to paste this seed. That's all I want. Okay, and I'm going to name it, <laughs> and I'll put it in my software, my Electrum 2, and I'm going to call this thing my seed. <laughs> uh, sorry. All right. All right. So we're going to call this thing our seed. Okay. So you can see here's the file here. All right, so let's move on to the next step here. All right, and this is where they want us to retype the seed. All of that talking that I just did, I probably could have uh, retyped that seed. But uh, I spent a lot of time trying to be lazy, didn't I? We're going to paste that. It won't allow you to copy and paste it from screen to screen, so you have to create a file. Okay, so uh, we're going to choose a new password here. click next and there we go and lo and behold it disappeared oh that's okay I think it's around there somewhere I don't know where it went well it says it's still running 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, it just appeared on my other screen, guys. No biggie. Okay, now here we go. We got the server lagging message. Uh, let's see, this little light down here should be green. So, um, I'm used to seeing that green. So, it says the server is lagging. We'll see what happens. And uh, if it does not uh, give me the green total light, uh, we may have to do some troubleshooting. My hope is that uh, when you do this that you're going to get uh, a connection and you're going to get a sync. Uh, the way that Electrum works is uh, it has several uh, servers out there that uh, have the entire uh, Bitcoin blockchain on there and uh, it checks those servers for the current state of the blockchain and uh, once it's done that it updates your wallet and shows you your balance and your uh, list of transactions there are other Bitcoin wallets like Armory that uh, before uh, you can do anything it downloads the entire blockchain to your computer and uh, that means that every time you launch it it has to sync up to that blockchain and download uh, all of the latest transactions which uh, if you use it every day is fine because it just has to throw a few extra on there but if uh, you use it occasionally and uh, you haven't used it for a few weeks or a month and then you check it you have to wait again for the blockchain to update ethereum isn't like that in most cases it syncs to the blockchain fairly quickly uh, because their servers download the blockchain but in this case it looks like I'm lagging a little bit uh, I'm just gonna quit and I'm gonna relaunch and see if we get synchronizing hey see there we go see I just I just closed it and opened it and uh, it came back up so uh, you know things happen so anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, the Debian way, the installation was uh, quite simple. Uh, my talking was a little convoluted, but uh, here you have it, guys. And so let's see here. Are we running OBS still? It looks like we are. So uh, once again, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate all your support, uh, your comments, and your questions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, uh, I would love that, and you'll get alerted whenever I post new videos. Once again, thanks for joining me.